Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> All right, so today I've got to get a lot of work done. <laughs> I gotta get the next chapter of the Mark Tarot's complete and edited and proofread before Tuesday. That is what I gotta do. I also need to film, which I currently am. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> then I need to edit it for Monday because I don't like to do stuff on Sundays. Some days are my rest days. No writing happens on Sundays, no filming. At least I try my best. <laughs> so yeah, and then I'd need to get the next chapter of the Harry Potter fan fiction done because I would like to do that before Thursday. I'd like to not be an emergency, <laughs> please. It would be so nice if I could have my crap together and have, what is it, seven weeks of the Mark Tarot's done and three to four chapters of the Harry Potter fan fiction done so then I can have peace during April. I did that during November. Yeah, you think I could do that? Hmm. Hmm. I doubt it. <laughs> Think I can get it together? <laughs> Doubt it. And I just added a new thing to my list. This has been a long time coming. I've never really liked the title, The Mark Tarot's. Never liked it. It's very generic. And so, yeah, the title is going to be changing. I'm not 100% sure on the title that I'm gonna pick. And also it means I gotta throw together a mock cover. If you weren't aware, but yeah, the cover that I use for the Mark Taros, I actually uh, painted it from scratch in um, Photoshop. That was five years ago. <laughs> it was never going to be, you know, the published cover. It's just the whatever cover that I've got right now. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta come up with maybe a new cover. I don't know. I would have to connect my drawing tablet to my Mac, which I haven't done yet. I don't know how much trouble that's going to be. <laughs> Drivers and all of that nonsense, I hate that stuff. I've just been mocking up a new cover in on my iPad in Procreate, but yeah. Ugh. I wonder if Procreate reads PSD files. That would be interesting. Then I can pull in the old cover <laughs> and maybe use some of it. I don't know. I don't know. Just thinking out loud because I've got to, I've got to fix things with it and make it a little bit different. And I got to change the title and <sighs> all that jazz. So yeah, that's another thing for my list. Another thing for my list. So if I could. Oh wow. Eight chapters. Probably it would probably be eight chapters and then like what? Four chapters of of Harry Potter fan fiction before April. And then all at the same time actually have you know be mentally prepared for April on top of that. I don't know. Since I've been sick so much, my stamina has been shot. Often I, it takes me hours to just get any energy going and then have brain energy. <laughs> My stamina for working hard is, is not what it used to be. I ain't a whippersnapper no more. <laughs> One day at a time. All right, gonna get started on editing. I'm tired. We need more caffeine, caffeine!
So I've made some progress on Tuesday's chapter, and I'm really happy about that. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying, Zelda. What was I saying? So, hi. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm happy with what I've done so far. It's not finished. It's got about three to four more pages, so got to do that. Um, you might notice that I have another document open next to it. And that's actually the original document because this story has been evolved from one of my fan fictions that I wrote seven years ago. And I'm keeping them side by side so I can make sure that I'm not directly copying because I don't actually want to do that. Some of the basic scenes are still occurring, but I am making 100% sure that the dialogue is 90 to 95% different than the original. Because first of all, they're different characters, and yeah, so that's what I want to do. But I'm probably going to go back to the original title for at least the first volume of the book. Because, you know, I like that title, and I don't really want to change it for anything else. So yeah, the original title is Warped Identity, which I like for volume one. I don't know what... Uh, Volume 2 will be called quite yet. I'm thinking that I'm going to change the series name to be called the Legacy Series. I'm going to try to kind of rebrand it for Royal Road because someone had posted something on Royal Road where they said, you know, superhero fiction isn't very popular on there. And I'm like, I'm just reading my stuff and I'm kind of sitting through a mic. It's not really superhero. <laughs> I've branded it as that, but to be honest with you, it's not quite like you know, the Avengers and Batman and blah, blah, blah. It has that element to it, but at the same time, not really. They're not superheroes. But, I mean, the plan was that later on that they would, because right now they are a team of government-controlled mercenaries, basically even though they're not actually paid well. <laughs> they're a government-controlled team, so with special abilities that you could totally just fudge off as being supernatural, so... I might change the series to be... supernatural drama, maybe? I'm not getting a huge readership on Royal Road. You know, Royal Road has a huge readership and stuff, and so I'm not really getting much traction, but that requires me like I've said, I've got to change the cover and the title and uh, I'm going to put the cover right here. So that's what the cover looks like. I need to change it. And yes, I did. I painted the background. I painted the actual character about seven years ago. Not sure if I've gotten any better, but yeah. I've gotten better at drawing eyes. I want to do a video with me drawing one of my characters, but I'm rusty because I haven't drawn since Inktober. <laughs> Maybe like a picture here and there because, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Inktober killed me and I never want to draw again, even though I want to draw again. <laughs> oh boy, Inktober was brutal. Let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in watching me do a drawing video of one of my characters. She's got a ball. Hi Zelda, what do you got there? What do you got? That's what I'm doing, just working each day to get ready for to get ready for NaNoWriMo. It would be cool if I could finish something in April's NaNoWriMo. Probably not gonna do Beyond 2 because that is a behemoth. Because Beyond the Alluring Sky is 139,000 words. So yeah, book two is going to probably that be that big, or at least 120,000 words, so. I kind of want to finish something that's small. That's Zelda scratching. Yay, quality content of Doggo scratching and jiggling the camera. I'm kind of leaning towards Scapegoat, because that's got 30, 35,000 words on it. And I actually recently read it. And I love it. The story has a lot of superstition and religion of their, you know, they have shrines built here and there and, and they, you know, pray to the gods 
and the main character, you know, is wishful enough to hope that the gods will hear him and his prayer of getting rid of his stepfather, but when but when the lot falls to the nice woman, he is like, the gods don't care about us, and he's like, screw you. <laughs> I want to embed the world with their superstitions and, you know, that they will you know, pray to anything, anything that, and, and that doesn't have proof that is an actual god, you know, and so... Yeah, I want to do that more, and then I want to build up, you know, the next part of the story, which I actually haven't talked about, because, you know, obviously the main character isn't sacrificed to the mountain god, because <laughs> then there would be no story. So it's really about him discovering what's the actual truth about the mountain. Kind of excited for this one. I'm kind of surprised, like, this was the one that I was kind of like, oh... I kind of want to write it and kind of want to finish it and get it done. It has some interesting characters and I like Lauren's character development even though I kind of feel like what's in the draft is too fast. I want it a little bit slower. Might be something I work on! I have to think about the resolution and how, you know, how all the answers come together and stuff. I gotta finish all of my other stuff that I gotta do in preparation. And there's just, there's so much stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then I would love it if you would give me a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel now. I make videos on Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> Until next time. Bye! <laughs>